Come on, cosmic finger. No, I don't need another one of you. Cosmic finger again. Ooh. Well, I know it breaks the rules, but yata. Thanks for messing around in Vampire Survivors 240. Gennaro Bell Peace is heading over to Astral Stair. Haha, no, it's not. It's Tiny Bridge. You already did Astral Stair. And we're going to be going fast with our shots. Oh, this is already a problem. Short gun. Who would ever choose short gun by voice? Gennaro, apparently. No, not so bad so far. And one projectile showing off. More knives, more. And as always, empty tomb. Yeah, it's keeping up now, but we all know that's going to fall apart later. Duplicator, more weapons, ooh. I mean, I have to rely on the back blast from shortgun and actually to hit things, huh? Awkward. Now it'll bounce back further. Oh, it actually is, huh? That's why Bracer goes for it. Man, they're just not keeping up at all. Now oh, I take down the sword. Looks like I took down the sword. Endless knives. That sword is definitely gone, and all of you can go away too. Who knows though if it'll work. Boy, they don't want my third weapon showing up at all, huh? I did unbind it. I did unbind it. This actually would be a terrible map for divers' minds, wouldn't it? Armadillo. Armadillo. There we are, flash arrow. Yep, all bracer all the time. A lot of one way clear. A lot of one way clear. That fears. Alright, shoot through the goblinoids. Or implanoids or gremlinoids. Hey, a chest. In theory, I should be able to evolve. If it evolved before 10 minutes, or a 20 minute stage. Base damage up. Well, the base damage isn't exactly critical right now, but still. Yay, it has PS. We're going in the line isn't really the problem. It'll just ultimately be reliant on what I can hit back behind me. These guns are not great at that. I really just have to pull, hope for the pull of Millionaire. First, the short gun is not going to be doing it. Yeah. It's blasting back far enough that's almost hitting the guys on the side. Well, I do need Bracer off for Flash Arrow anyway. There's Arcana. Sword. Hey, Nito. I have a lot of options here. And there's the one I'm picking. It'll affect all three of my weapons one day. Flash arrow. Flash them with the arrow. They'll all die. Massively improve the damage. Knife tornado. Knife tornado. Oh man, it's not hitting, bouncing through the railing. Off the railing, as it should. I want to get too many levels when I can try to avoid it. 
And yet I did anyway. Does it matter? Grab what I need to survive. Which will be one day awake. And more pierce, I guess. Don't know if that affects the blowback. Probably the one stage where shotgun is fine. Yeah, I'd still don't want to pick it unless I'm doing a dumb gimmick like this. Oh, Melissa in time, nice. Yeah, it's not bouncing off the side of the rail. I thought it was supposed to bounce off terrain. In the side of the walls. Huh. Their side of the screen. Oh, there's another chest over there. It won't evolve, but I'll grab it anyway. I need a speed brake. The bouncy arcana is not so great, huh? On this part of the stage, which is all the stage. Knife tornado. Okay, if I can take out the spirits here, it's okay. So obviously, I still want to evolve. Avoid that danger. Please. Please evolve. Yay, evolution. Really hoping for millionaire. But, oh hey, it goes through the railings. At least I can now limit break it. So I want to hold off just in case. Yes, I can indeed do it. Here we go. Time to awake. So what is that even supposed to be? I always think of it like a morning star head. That figures. And speed, yay, speed. Clearly what it's needed. I need more speed, more. Knife tornado, knife tornado. Hey, my knife tornado, you're the only thing I have. I dare reckon. I should have said New Brunswick. That would have made a lot more sense. Quiet nerds burp only near school. How baffling, eh? And more from The Simpsons than I ever did in real life. And that figures. Oh, he said super bouncy. Bounce everywhere. Bounce everywhere. The very least that exists. Speed. Racer. Eh, yeah, take out most of the swords, that's neat. Give me your chest. Why did you not drop a chest? I need that sweet, sweet millionaire. I need the money. Cash money. Then just hold left and go. And win. Nothing's stopping the knife tornado today. Hey, I'm out. Always love them out. Don't know what amount actually does for it, but hey. It's a bat wave. Well, I just gotta charge on through. You have all these chickens on the floor. Can't get hit by that starburst. Annoying, annoying starburst. 
about the most of a real stage hazard there is. The differences are stark. As steep as the price of freedom. Sure would have been nice to get that with Flash Arrow. I agree, that's already two up amount of wise, eh? Might, 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 might. Yeah, sure, get speed. No chesto, yeto. Babato? Yes, oh. There we go. Now I can finally hit random always and just mash on the right direction. Always random. And now I select nothing. Left go. As left is evil. Ah, the intangible nature of the world. Oh yeah, I should be more than strong enough to just run right through to the other end of the timer. Get me up to 20 minutes and another mark off on the Beswick. Back on the original thumbnail and image. Ouch. How dare you, sword. How dare you. Man, the ones in the back aren't even hitting, really. The prototype B drones. Oh man, that sword did so much damage. Uh, Wake would have activated crits for the two of them, but I was not in particular interest for that. Wow, I'm seeing thousands hits. That amount increase is amount increasing. And so if you really wanted to go for max amount, it would have to be one of the plus fours. Because that's more than the beginning would give you on Katha. And Duplicator or Academy Badge. Would have to be on Lake Foscari, or, well, basically any of the DLC stages. Lake, well, no, it would have to be on Lake or Abyss. We'll go with Abyss just because the Arcana and the Badge are both quicker. So, on Abyss with one of the fours. Flash Arrow as soon as possible. Duplicator, Empty Tome, whatever, rest. Well, obviously, Bouncy Bounce. And Divine Bloodline if you want giggles. Well. That's not good. That's not good at all. The other hand, leaving a path through the sword path. Nice. Knives beat swords. You heard it here first of all. Sword have no power to knife. Knife greater than sword. Didn't even take a life. Had to rely on the Reaper. A hey, swords, a hey, swords. Prototype B did nothing. Arcaladonna, at this rate, it's going to be double digit attempts failing before the first minute. That's incredible. Finally, Prismatic Missile. Without having to waste all my room. Three rolls. Wouldn't want spinach, but okay. That'll eventually get more projectiles. The prismatic missile is the goal here. Go get it. Get it good. That was spread gun at the bottom, wasn't it? Spread shit. Need to level up ASAP. Level, level faster. Save chest in case evolve. In case evolve, I don't need might for right now. 
Everything is basically dying in one shot. To a prismatic missile here. Yeah, it's still weak battle and bloody fire one at the moment. There we go. There's spread shot. Get it so, so I don't have any more weapons in the pool constantly taking up space. Dang it, I was really hoping it would go to Prismatic Missile. Home. Hmm. Cosmetic Egg. Oh, there's the first of the pains. I should not have grabbed that. But... Oh, Fire Wand, I thought it was maxed out. Jeez. Oh, it is now. Let's see if you evolve me. Yes, you do. Excellent. Now I'll turn Fire Wand into something that's actually helpful. Oh, let's get the damage up first. Minus 84 cooldown. Very high cooldown reduction. Ooh, those are all going to be very nice. For later. No malarking around. Oh, it's two Oral Ogans, a Rosary, and an NFT. That's incredible. That was the best light source ever without an incredible amount of luck. Alright, so I'll just damage from the Hellfire. Those will keep me safe for the big bad tribal underwave. Come on, Luminaire. Yay, experience gems. Alright, now it's going to be hard to fire. Let's midge out as much damage as possible. Come out, yeah, come out. Area. What does area even do for it? Hmm, I mean, might one on Hellfire is. should be take two damage. More than a lot of other stuff. Definitely one area on it. Area doesn't really affect Luminaire with how it works. Well, not all that effectively, anyway. Still better than Mightwood. Sweet, more amount. And with that level of cooldown reduction, it's constant. 1% might. Yeah. Can't even tell when it's hitting because Luminaire is pushing them back so good. So well by itself. Well, fire is going to be a star of the show here. Need all that might to ward off the tribal unders. Oh. Over. More chickens. Which I grabbed somehow. Didn't think I got that close, but okay. Damage is getting up there. 270. Amount one is better than might plus one. And because it's tribal honor, I'm actually going to have to keep up with the limit breaks. Also because so many times Arca has fallen. Amazingly bad. Oh. Chicken fort. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have a good defensive line for when it gets bad. Two Orlogans, a Rosary, and an NFT. It'll be hard to punch through that. And I'll have five revives in the back end. Revives that make me stronger each time one of them pops. Oh, Pierce. That'll be excellent against Tribe Blundering. Pierce. Mount is still worth more than might. Carry on Hellfire. Yeah, more amount. More amount. Wow, that's what, four or five amount now? Is that gonna... Well, that was not right. Now, if I had bouncy shots, it'd be even more ridiculous, but I can't. Still, endless fire. Hmm. Well, I haven't gotten that many might increases, so it's only hitting for like 280. 300 should be a solid amount to get through to the end, though. Ah, oh, random dumber running. What people like about numbers, they can be consistent. Random numbers. Who wants anything like that? Okay, so I can't skirt by all my nice little power-ups. My nice little pickups. Like a reverse check mark. Area. I guess I'll put a stop to any bullets that are fired too. There's gonna be so many tribal owners on screen, I need all the pierce I can get. As many as I can with Heart of Fire. I do have Heart of Fire, right? Might. Yes, it is Heart of Fire. Yes, here's the heavens. Prototype C, more might, more might, and C and some more. Everyone loves a mount. Oh man, that's so much amount on Hellfire, that's amazing. Be fighting off so many giant meteor boulders of death. Definitely one of the biggest gaps between base weapon and evolution that you get. Yeesh, that's so much amount. I've been keeping track of that. That's probably might actually be at like nine or ten now. Forty-seven. Three oh two, that's pretty good. Especially at the rate it's firing out with Arca. Will he be the legendary one who actually gets to the tribe blunders with kills instead of durability? Find out now on Vampire Survivor's Beswick 240. Whoa, closing in on a quarter of a thousand episodes, huh? Closing in on 500 stage character combinations done. Math is wild. My friends, and more importantly, my enemies. Wow, that was quite the sneeze. And now it makes my voice sound like this. I'm gonna not clear my throat. Oh, it went away. Dang. Open the sound is weird, even weirder and nasally. But it was just not meant to be. Oh, right, I need to go do that thing. Uh-oh. Wait, did I grab an Orlogian? Where? No, these ones are all still intact. <laughs> More Pierce. 
The heavens must be pierced. Man, this side of the video is going to be so stacked because of this. But I have to hold out. I have to hold out. I don't want to play the stage ten more times. Really, what's going to save me is going to be all those power pickups down there. Man, I'm making Hellfire nice and beefy, huh? Good, good. Hellfire needs some love. Really strong evolution, that. 330 hits. Especially with how much it's hitting. Okay. Yep, all those pickups are still fine and dandy. Might, might, might. Might. Endless might. Endless might for hellfire. Don't want speed on it. Bottom of mount coming up this round too, huh? Like Luminaire has got a lot as well. Not as much as Hellfire literally never stopped firing between the cooldown and the sheer amount of might it has, but hey. Even whatever this wave is. Oh, this is the small tribal unders. They're getting beat back too. I barely see what they were. Area, area, m m might m m m might Area, area, area. Might. All right. Eighty-three on the Hellfire. That's pretty dang good. One seventy-six. Man, Crown just does so much for you, eh? I mean... Let's see... Heck... This was a 30 minute stage, Arca would be hitting the... 100k mark, no real trouble. Wait... Oh, I guess it wasn't Tri Blunders earlier, but still. <laughs> Gotta get everything on Hellfire. Man, more amount. It's definitely in the double digits by now. Heck, even Luminaire might be in double digits as well. There's been so many pickups. Level up. Never stop leveling up. Luminaire is definitely in the double digits by now. Parts them out. 89. Will I break 100 on Hellfire? Who knows? I'm aiming for it. What was that? It was clearing out all the enemies. More area, more area. Oh, and every time I pick up a level, it fires out again. Ooh, Man, it's so big. So big without anything that increases its area directly, passive-wise. Or her Boogal Evolution wise 95, 96, 97. I will break 100 levels on Hellfire alone, huh? Time. All right, we're getting up to the big old bad old Pry blunder. Wait, when did I take damage? Crazy. Even this amount of damage, it just isn't enough. There's a hundred on Hellfire. Yeah, 
and random always for the last. Even this amount of fairly ridiculous situation barely gets through without losing a life. Absolutely nutty. And Luminaire actually outmanaged to do Hellfire because it was hitting everywhere while Hellfire wasn't. Hellfire was doing more damage per hit though. Yeesh. Heart of Fire did not do 3.7. There is no way. That has to only count be counterattack damage. Not with how long that was up. The NFT did the most DPS. It's portering time as Arca does not head anywhere. Port does. Astral Stare. Pretty sure I'm doing this out of order still, but who knows anymore. 136 cooldown reduction. Incredible. Summon that knight. Alright. Oh, fire one more projectile. And get the cooldown back down low. As low as you can go. So down low. Home and miss. Alrighty. Empty tomb does everything you need to and more. Ripple duplicator evolution. Always nice to see. When we miss keeps you safe up close. Summon Knight does a lot all around the map. And a lightning ring pops them out all around. So much so that I'm going up. Empty at home. Next out cooldown already. Oh, negative 70. So that will go down eventually. Oh, might as well get spinach so it's out of the pool. Or in the pool, as it were. Oh. This should be fine. It is summer night after all. Cosmic, cosmic, yeah, cosmic finger. Victory sword, no, who wants a victory sword? I want a chest that can hopefully evolve early. Summon Knight is fairly ridiculous. And I forgot to find the lightning ring. Wow, incredible. But, but, Super Candy Box 2 Turbo Edition exists, and I don't ban the evolutions. Well, let's go get another Cosmic Finger. With that sweet, sweet 70 cooldown. Oh, wow, the missiles came off from off screen after the teleport. That was a neat. My. Okay, I'll get another door. Is there a trap here? Come on, Cosmic Finger. No, I don't need another one of you. Cosmic Finger again. Ooh. Well, I know it breaks the rules, but yata, yata, I cut in. Dang, I was hoping for the candy box too. Now she is horsey as well. Well, at this level, I don't really have any weaknesses, so. Oh, just random always. Doesn't matter if Lightning Ring doesn't evolve or gets any limit break levels. I'm not losing. Oh, hey, Arcana. What would I even get with you?
I mean, more amount isn't the worst. Sure, lightning ring is not as powerful as it should be. But Yata... Wait, no. Yata doesn't count, because it's not Cherry Bomb. That needs to be fixed ASAP. Oh, wait, I've already been here. Those evolutions should count. Those animals should count. And those mutations, those super modin. Hey, just candy box. Ooh, that's not a candy box. Oh wait, that was where I wanted to go. Candy box? No, give me candy box. I want candy box. Or to love candy. Watching missiles fly in from off screen. That's fun. Summon Knight is the easy mode to get in. Cosmic Fingers, yes. Let's go with that. Hey, I've got an amount. Oh, I shouldn't need much in the way of anything at the end here. Can't get double anima. That doesn't happen even if you get all the cosmic fingers in the world. I'm willing to break the rules for the Yata stuff. Or for stuff like the anima evolutions, just because it's pretty dang rare you're going to pick that up on anyone who's not the character it's intended for. And yet I keep getting it. Okay, so let's have a finger. Not that I'm much in danger. Dang. I'm failing anymore. Okay, if it wasn't for Starburst, I'd put the controller down and just yak the yak. Talk back. And there we go with victory, Starburst. Ruining my no-hit run. My no-move challenge. Clearly, please ignore the six-ish... Oh man, it hit me. Oh, so many. Jeez. This never stops until it does. Weak wheel. Get that grease. Hey, Arcana chest. Oh, wow. Well, that's incredibly lucky. Re-roll. 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 Awaken Porta with the power of the Thunder Loop. And that is how you get an evolution with accidentally forgetting to unbind the beast weapon. You just get super lucky. Oh, that was untimely. Somewhat literally, too. As time has been on time and no longer flows, it is frozen. Oh, wait, what? You did damage? How? Stupid big heads and your stupid big heads. Why are you so durable? Man, it's dropping vacuums all over the place. Cracked all them gems, orb. Cracked all them gems, orb. I mean, they're not going to get in at all. That was just me running right into them, but still. Wait, wasn't there another vacuum here? There it is. 35. Uh, let's see. Oh. It's... Da, 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 divide that by three. 
No, wait. Four. So I would need to be at 7,500 at 15 to keep the pace up. But that is not happening. Oh, dang it. Hey, it's a curse to the many cosmic eggs that are going to be horribly, horribly destroyed. And are going to horribly, horribly survive. Because HP times level. Bloody egg. I suppose it can't be an egg because it's bloody, but... Good amount of kills, though. Good amount of kills. Yeah, you went down, egg. Down the gullet of egg lovers. The monsters. All oh, those poor baby birds. Devoured. Don't you just want to protect the baby? Wow, even the fake Atlantean cloaks can't get even remotely close. Here, super toast. So I'm gonna get some jam and spread it all over the place. It's gonna be delicious. I like them floor chickens. More jamming. Hmm. What today? Day that day. Oh, you're gonna pop your infinite corridor, and I'm on to you. And now I'm off of you. Keep you at the edge of the screen and let the damage train roll. Oh, Lord, it's just slightly big enough. Oh, 19 minutes in. Alright, time for Cosmic Egg. Get golden fingered. It starts at silver, even when it's at bronze. Ouchies. Those Cosmic Eggs couldn't beat Porta. And Echo Knight did Echo Knight things. As you'd expect. Thunder Loop caught up pretty nicely. Would have actually surpassed the other two. Take that, Yata Daikarin. And that takes us up three more on the Beswick. 470 with Gennaro. Narca goes to 471 on Laboratory. Hold right up. And Astral Steer takes us up to 473. Closing in on that 500 mark, eh? Or, no, 472. Closing it on that 500 mark, eh? 1,460 more to go. That's about a third of the way done somehow. Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Please like, dislike, comment, or subscribe if you haven't. And for those of you who have, thank you. Either way, have a good day and keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick.